Hello everyone, Jobin Blue here today with the RPCS3 June 2017 progress report. I'm sure you are all well aware of the huge increase in popularity that RPCS3 has been getting lately, showcasing a bunch of new games. I will be making a video going in depth on what these games are showcasing soon, but for now we will take a look at the report. First off, they showcased a video made by the wonderful YouTuber named Reznoir, who I'm sure that you've heard of for making the cool Simu version improvements videos. He has been nice enough to make a video for RPCS3, so go check that out. As usual, all links are in the description. Here we have a comparison of the compatibility wheels with last month's on the left and this month's on the right. As you can see, they are pretty similar and 193 new games were tested this month. The reason why so many games have seen improvements this month has to do with the fact that Necrotechna reworked the PPU LLVM recompiler. KD11 has fixed various graphical issues as well as Jarvison working on the LLE GCM. That stands for low level emulation graphics command management. It is the reason why Red Dead and The Last of Us no longer crash and hang immediately. Jarvison also worked on the 59.94 Hertz bug, which I will cover after the games. There are a lot of these games, so I'm going to try and go really fast through them. Afterburner Climax, Flawless, Arno Surge, O2 and Unborn Star, 30 FPS with an i5 on the LLVM. KD11 is working on the graphics bug. Atelier Esha and Logi and Atelier Shali now run 30 FPS with Vulcan. Once the graphics bug is fixed, all Atelier games will be considered playable on RPCS3. Beyond Two Souls, in game, unstable and slow, video playback works. Borderlands, in game, graphics are basically perfect, too slow. Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse, reaches 30 FPS, still has graphics issues. Condemned 2, in-game, slow, graphics issues. Dante's Inferno, in-game, runs well with LLVM. Dark Awake, got tested this month, works fine. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, in-game, renders fine, stretches to top half of screen. DOA 5, better graphics and improvements, too slow still. Dead to Rights Retribution, goes in-game, looks good, too slow. Deadly Premonition, graphical and performance improvements, namely shadows and lighting. 30 FPS on an i5 at 4.5 GHz. Dead Storm Pirates, thanks to recompiler improvements, now considered playable. Death Spank, twice as fast thanks to Vulcan and LLVM, faster and considered playable. Deception 4, Blood Ties, slow, graphics better thanks to KD11. Demon Souls, one of the games I want to cover in a future video, fixed death of the field and shadows. Dragon's Lair, playable, no longer hangs, important because this version has higher quality movie files. Draken Guard 3, reaches menus, not in game, renders 3D graphics, this was taken on Linux. Eat Them, Vulcan improvements, playable at 30 plus FPS. Eternal Sonata, better graphics and looks fine, still needs performance improvements. Fairy Fencer F, looks good, runs fast, considered playable. Final Fantasy X HD, runs flawless thanks to LLVM and Vulcan, SPRX improvements, seems to be considered playable. Foosball 2012, they joked about how PlayStation UK said that it was so simple it could be run on a calculator, seems to hold up, never looked into before because no one cared, runs on basically any hardware. Game of Thrones, graphical and performance improvements, too slow. God of War 1 and 2, thanks to LLVM improvements, 60 FPS, broken sound, we'll cover in future video. Gran Turismo HD concept, now boots, crashes, other Gran Turismo games run better, this is the best, there's a video. Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5, thanks to LLE, GCM, can go in game, graphics are broken, seems to run stable. Hitman 2, better graphics, looks perfect, runs at 60 FPS on an i3 with Vulcan and LLVM. How to Train Your Dragon, perfect with Vulcan and LLVM. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle, there's a video we'll cover later, perfect graphics, LLVM and Lib Fiber increased performance. Juiced 2, Hot Import Nights, better graphics and performance, runs at 30 FPS. Killzone HD, goes to menu, shows loading screens thanks to LLE, GCM, still hangs, they think it's close. Little Big Planet shows intro unstable. Got past part it has been stuck at for the past half year thanks to LLE GCM. Little Big Planet karting in game thanks to LLE GCM runs and decently well. Life is strange. There's a video 30 FPS with Vulcan and LLVM broken graphics. Another this is fine meme. Mafia 2 in game thanks to LLE GCM runs at 10 FPS. Cannot see most graphics like player or trees. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Fate of Two Worlds now runs fine with LLVM and KD11 fixes, almost 30 FPS. Mega Man 9, perfectly playable at full speed thanks to LLE GCM. This game was actually released in 2008 if you weren't aware. 
Metal Gear Solid 1 inside of Metal Gear Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid 4 is still broken, but thanks to LLVM, this reaches full speed. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm will cover in future video improved performance. Thanks to LLVM, all Naruto games run better. Nino Kuni will cover in future video playable, not perfect. Nier Replicant and Gestalt improved from KD11 and LLVM. Unstable, crashes after a while, there's a video we'll cover later. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, improved graphics, near perfect, too slow. Okami HD, will cover later, perfectly playable at 1080p and 30fps. They found out that it was actually rendered at 4k internal on a real PS3. Payday 1, improved graphics, bloom issues, renders properly, still too slow. Persona 4 Arena and Ultimax, looks how they should, too slow even on LLVM. The information on Persona 5 is now irrelevant and I will cover it on its own in a separate video. Red Dead Redemption, thanks to LLE GCM, it can go farther, there's a video, I will cover it later, KD11 fix the blue graphics. Resogun, there's a video, we'll cover later, performance improvements thanks to KD11, stable 30 FPS on an i3, all of the Saints Row games reach the intro now thanks to LLE GCM, but cannot go farther due to an infinite black screen. Saw 2 saw performance improvements thanks to LLVM, still has some issues, but it's close to playable. Scott Pilgrim vs The World, there's a video local multiplayer now works. Shadow of the Colossus HD, better graphics things to LLE GCM but it still crashes a few frames in. Shining Resonance, runs at 30fps on LLVM, broken character graphics, they say that it could theoretically be translated to English with RPCS3 as debugging does make that possible. Silent Hill Downpour, runs well thanks to LLE GCM, on an i7 it runs how it does on a real PS3. Sly 3 now goes past the main menu but it gets stuck during its first cutscene. Soul Calibur 4, there's a video we'll cover later, runs faster with LLVM, KD11 fixed broken shadows, very close to playable. Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Chaos Theory HD, improved shadows, playable if it was faster. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, playable thanks to SPRX fixes, KD11 helped with some shadow bugs. Tekken Revolution, fixed shadows, improved graphics, can crash so it's unplayable even if it ran faster. White Knight Chronicles went from 4 to 8 FPS, fixed the depth of field issues that Demon Souls also had. Yakuza 3, there's a video in game thanks to LLE GCM, but broken graphics. Yakuza 4 and 5 gets to loading screen with LLE GCM, hangs, but it should be fixed soon. Okay, so that's it for all the games, but now it's time for the Linux ultra wide mods moving to QT and the 59.94 Hertz bug. I'll start off with the 59.94 Hertz bug, which has also been dubbed the dumbest bug of all time. So every Koei Tecmo game and every team that they own, like Gust, Team Ninja and Omega Force were responsible for making games like The Warriors, Atelier, Dead or Alive, and a bunch of other series. So every game that they made after 2014 would not boot in RPCS3. So games like Atelier Aisha would work because it was released in 2012, but the Atelier games featured in this video would not, like Esha and Loki. One day, the weave that writes these reports, Triple S Shadow, was pissed that he couldn't see his 2014 and beyond waifus, so he decided to investigate. He found out that whoever was working on RPCS3 CS3 back in the day, whenever it was still considered a joke, had just used a dummy variable for the cell video out get device info function. In games such as Deception 4, which were made before 2014, cell video out configure, which is called immediately after device info, worked fine, but in the new games like Esho and Logi, configure was never called. As you can see from the code, the comment made about dummy variables is still there. This is the commit that Jarvison made, in which he figured out that games wouldn't boot unless they were 59.94 Hz. This bug has been fixed, which is why Esha and Logi work now. Linux builds are almost identical to Windows now. Controller support is still limited, but it's being worked on. Vulkan, ALSA audio support, and moving over to QT, which fixed broken DPI scaling, all help to make it usable. They are having issues trying to download and run binaries, as there are complications with the way that they use the LLVM recompiler. They are basically stuck on this issue right now, but think they could at least make some binaries for Ubuntu or Fedora. Next up we have Ultra Wide Mods. A user on the forums by the names of Esperol has found a way to run a few games in a higher aspect ratio. Catherine, Nino Kuni, and some sort of tennis game are all that they've gotten at this moment. I have contacted some developers of RPCS3 and they said that true support is not planned for a very long time. It's still cool that we can do this with a few games for now. So you heard me mention QT earlier, so what exactly is that? 
RPCS3 has moved to QT. It's technically pronounced cute, but I refuse to do that. Like Dolphin recently did, RPCS3 has moved from WX Widget to QT. They made their own blog post on this. There's a link in the description if you want to read more about it. Essentially, you can do more with it and the creators still work on it. One cool new thing that you can do is use themes. If there is enough demand, I would cover this further in a different video. I'm not doing it for this video because it's already late enough. Had I made this earlier? Maybe. Lastly, it's time for some developer specific fixes. Necrotechna made it way faster to compile and run a game for the first time, up to 16 times faster on Ryzen 7 CPUs. KD11 worked on Intel support for OpenGL for some reason, and completed his goal supporting Vulkan on Linux. He also made some RSX fixes that were responsible for fixing shadows in games like Nino, making it playable. This also affected other games, and it's basically the reason behind a lot of improvements in this report. Ripley Tom fixed an issue with one of the Loco Roco games, which makes it playable at 60 FPS. Client Hacks fixed a crash in Bomberman Ultra. Zangetsu was the one that made it possible so that Little Big Planet Karting goes in game on Vulcan. And lastly, Jarvison and Newman were the ones that got Okami HD to become playable. That'll wrap it up for this report. Make sure that you check out all the cool links in the description below where you can go support them on Patreon and chat with them on their Discord servers. As I said, I will be covering more games like Nier, Soul Calibur 4, Demon Souls, Naruto, Okami, God of War, and many more. I will also be covering Persona 5 on its own because there was some huge news surrounding it in the past week or so. Check out my Dolphin videos for June and May if you're interested or you just aren't caught up yet. You really need to update Dolphin if you haven't since before June. This has been Jobin Blue with RPCS3's June 2017 progress report. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.